Hello, it's Miss Terry from the Muskingum County Library System, and I am so excited for me and my lovely assistant and daughter, Paisley. You want to say hi, Paisley? Hi. To make milk carton bird feeders with you today. This is super fun, super easy, and it's something you and your kiddos can connect with and do together. Not only that, but there are items you may have at home. Maybe you might have to get some bird seed, but I bet you probably have the rest at home. If not, super easy to get. So we are going to start with a school milk carton. So it's gonna look like this when you start, and then you're gonna open it up and you're gonna drink the milk. You're gonna to wanna to rinse this out. And then the adult is going to go ahead and cut two sides out of it. So a front and a back. You're gonna leave two sides whole and two sides cut. And you're gonna to wanna to leave a little lip at the bottom like this. That's gonna be what holds your bird seed in. What makes this super, super nice is right now, a lot of schools are out delivering food to kiddos. A lot of kids have these right now. And if you don't, any beverage carton will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Paisley and let her start decorating this. This is another fun part for the kiddos. We are choosing to use markers today, but you can use paint, you can use markers, you can use crowns, whatever you and your child have at home and wanna use. But I figured you guys probably wouldn't wanna watch us watch paint dry. So we're just going to stick with markers and we'll let her color for a little bit. Next, you are going to need some bird seed. This is what we chose. It's just song bird feed. We actually had it sitting around the house. So it's really, really easy. You can use any bird seed you have or get anything will work. This is just what we had sitting around. Next, you're going to want a measuring cup or some kind of cup to help you dip and pour it in the bird feeder. And then you are going to want a string. So this is a really long, sorry, I dropped it. <laughs> a really long shoelace. You can use a shoelace, you can use a ribbon or yarn, what, again, whatever you have at home will work perfectly. I really like the shoelace because it gives me enough room to double it over and I'll show you later why that's important, but it's not a necessity. So the good thing about doing something like this with your kiddos, one, it's getting them being creative and getting them to see that they can create things that are useful that can be used by their family or at their house. That makes them feel super cool and super special. Also, it gives them a new respect for nature because when they are able to see it being used in a way that is helping something, they get excited. So she's gonna be able to create this milk carton bird feeder. We're gonna hang it outside and she's gonna to get to see birds eat out of her bird feeder. It's gonna be super cool for her and she's gonna be super excited. Hey Paisley, are you excited to see birds eat yeah. out of your bird feeder? Yeah. It's gonna be really awesome, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm gonna let her finish up real quick. Color a few more spots for me. And while she does that, I'm just gonna scoop a little bit in. It's not much, it's a little, over three quarters. Great job, Paisley. Oh, I see all the pretty colors. Look at all her pretty colors. She colored the inside. So I chose to just use this little quarter cup measuring cup because it's easy. It fits in and then I can dump and try not to spill too much. So once it's in there, just like that, I am going to take my shoelace and I'm going to double it over. So it's doubled over. I'm going to string it through and tie at the top. 
And when I tie at the top, I want to have enough to hook it on. So, so I got it tied. I just did a knot. But now you have a loop to hang it on your trees. And this right here is why I like to double it over because I can slide one here, I can slide one here, and it's going to hang steady instead of one side or the other. Super cool, super fun. We cannot wait to see birds. Paisley, are you excited? Yeah. What kind of birds do you wanna see eat out of your bird feeder? Woodpecker. You wanna see a woodpecker? I think the woodpecker might be bigger than this. Do you think the woodpecker is bigger than this? Yeah. So I hope you had lots of fun. I hope you get to go out and make yourself a bird feeder with your kiddos. Get them involved. Get them out with nature. Enjoying the outside weather when it warms up a little bit. Or if it's warm now. Who knows? I haven't been outside today. <laughs> so. I would love to see your finished bird feeders. And I would love even more if somehow you could get an awesome picture of birds eating out of your bird feeder. How cool would that be? So once you snap a few pictures, send them to outreach at muskingalibrary.org. We would love to see them. Thank you so much and continue watching daily for more programs. And remember, we are here for you through all of this. Have a great day and thank you again.